Hello and welcome to the Popcorn Junkies. Uh, if uh, you like trailer reactions, movie reviews, streaming series reviews, streaming series trailer reactions, or any movie news or streaming news with the weekly rushes, this is your one-stop shop. Hit the subscribe button uh, and uh, click notification bell and you'll be notified whenever any movie stuff or content lands. Now, this is a reaction to a trailer for a film called Poor Things. Uh, we reacted to the teaser, which was a mighty 30 seconds long. Uh, this new film stars Emma Stone. I haven't seen her around in too much recently, actually. Um, it's directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, who's the Greek director who made uh, The Favourite, which, of course, uh, won a few, uh, few Oscars. Uh, Emma Stone was in that, too. Um, he also directed The Lobster, starring Colin Farrell. Uh, and he also did The Killing of a Sacred Deer um, and Dogtooth, I think was his first film, um, which was a, a surreal dystopian piece set within the confines and walls of a sort of, not a gated community, but a, a Greek family sort of locks its children in. It's bizarre, bizarre. So he's a surrealist filmmaker, for sure. He like He's drawn to the surreal. He's kind of like, for me, he's almost like the Salvador Dali of modern cinema. He just, you don't know what you're going to get, you don't know where it's going to go, but it's going to be ornate, it's going to be complex, it's going to be funny. It's often funny. Funny. Lots of his stuff is darkly humorous or, or just extraordinarily funny, like the favourite was. Um, this is, as we gleaned from the teaser before, um, this also stars Mark Ruffalo. It also stars Willem Dafoe. And it looks like it's a twist on the Frankenstein story. Um, I think it's actually based on, what's it based on? It's based on a novel by Alastair Gray called Poor Things, same name. And it pivots around uh, a woman who uh, is, is escaping an abusive relationship of some sort uh, and ends up being resurrected. Uh, she, she escapes through suicide, I believe, and then is resurrected with the uh, brain of her unborn child. So we've got Frankensteinian stuff. We've got Willem Dafoe with quite a messed up sort of visage. Um, we've got uh, Mark Ruffalo, you know, nice to see him playing something other than the Hulk. And obviously we've got Emma Stone looking uh, batshit crazy, which, which uh, she's very good at. She's very good at. So without further ado, I think we need to jump in. Uh, we kind of know we're going to get something very, very weird, very, very unique, and I'm very, very excited. So uh, let's check this out, shall we? This is Bella. Bye, bye. Bella, this is Mr. McCandles. Hello, Bella. No. Oh. She's an experiment. Good evening. Her brain and her body are not quite synchronized. But she's progressing at an accelerated pace. Tell me, where did she come from? I shall. For it is a happy tale. I am Bella Baxter, and there is a world to enjoy, circumnavigate. It is the goal of all to progress. Grow. A woman plotting her course to freedom. How delightful. Clearly the off-tune twanging of a, what is it, guitar? A lyre. L-Y-R-E. Are they playing a lyre? Um, funny. She, yes, very funny. She looks very funny. I love those supremely wide, fish-eyed angled, fish angled sort of lenses that are really low to the ground or, you know, just make you a sort of dot in the corner. They're very sort of... Very pop promo-y, very sort of album covery. Um, set design looks fantastic. Costume design looks fantastic. Um, Willem Dafoe's sort of jigsawed face, quite, quite remarkable. P presumably her falling or the back of that woman falling into the water is Emma Stone as she commits suicide. Uh, and perhaps she's violent because that's what she's learnt or that's what she has a memory of from her abusive relationship. Uh, high society, trying to break in, trying to learn the rules, trying to enjoy. She looks like she's enjoying them a little bit too much there, a little bit of rumpy pumpy. Um, I said before, it was reminding me of one of those games. There was an app game that uh, my girls used to play. In fact, I used to play. It's quite therapeutic called Monument Valley. I was getting those sort of vibes. I was getting Escher, the drawer, Escher vibes, highly stylized. So a little bit, not quite the same, but, you know, where set design is as important to Lanthimos as it is to someone like Wes Anderson, you know, you get a very distinct sense. Bright colours, black and white, 
different setups. Mark Ruffalo looking camp as Christmas, which is fantastic. Um, really nice to see him sort of delivering some comedy too. Um, surreal and strange and odd, Frankensteinian. I love the Fran I, I, I like this inversion. I, li I liked all her dancing, all her jerky kind of twisty weird stuff. Um, I think this looks <laughs> this looks like it's going to be very entertaining. It's being released, I think, around September, so I think this is very much going to be part of the whole awards sort of circuit. I think you can be seeing this popping up at places like the Venice Film Festival, um, certainly popping into the Oscars uh, and what have you. Um, I'm intrigued. I think it looks fun. I really like the look of it.